With the 18th pick in the NBA draft, the Memphis Grizzlies select MP. So MP and Shep Owens face off later today in the Summer League Championship, a typically low-key affair. Has a little extra juice this year, thanks to a budding rivalry between the mid-first round picks that started on draft night. MP's a terrible pick. I want the entire front office fire! Hey, hey, yo, yo, how y'all pass on Shep Owens, fam? Is you stupid? Oh, oh, Look, I'm a fan of the city, first and foremost. Yeah. This is a year! And P is a champion, baby! All right, Chip, a lot of excitement here, but let me ask you, what do you make the fans booing MP when they Wow. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. Make sure these guys regret not dropping the truth. Chef owns. Hey, you crushing oh, it, bro. So fire. good, yeah, Chef. Uh, let's run it back. More energy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I was gonna say. Just off rip. I'm not an actor, so I'm not gonna help you make no fired content, bro. Hi, everyone. We're here in sunny Las Vegas as we get set for the NBA Summer League Championship. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. Grant, what a terrific 10 days of basketball we have seen so far. <laughs> yeah, and B.A., the best is yet to come. We've got the best two teams of the past week facing off, but the real story is between MP and Shep Owens. Might be summer league, but some bad blood between these two rookies, to say the least. Both incoming players will be looking to make a point in this title game. Well, it might be July, but bragging rights are always going to be on the line between MP and Shep. Don't tell them this is just a summer league game. The first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. And if everything goes to plan, this could be a very fun matchup to watch. We don't grab the bus surrounding the Summer League Final. The matchup between MP and Shep Owens. Owens has had some sharp criticisms about MP after he was selected before him in the draft. Yeah, B.A., I believe the term Shep used was rec league. <laughs> MP hasn't done much to respond, but he might have been waiting to do that on the court. This Summer League Final is the perfect chance to prove a point. No offense to the rec league. Now here's Bain. MP outside. 4-3. Nails it from beyond the arc. MP's got six. When you put in the work, you're going to get the results. And you can see that MP has been putting in the work. And that'll be Boston's ball as it goes out of bounds. Celtics able to keep possession here. It's stolen by MP. Stolen by Mobley. Going inside. And Mobley throws it down. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. <laughs> Once he poked it away, you knew what was on his mind. Now here's Bain from deep. MP fires in the triple. Nine points in the game. You know, thinking back to the Shep Owens MP beef they have going here. Grant, have you ever experienced or seen anything like that? I mean, except for you and I. <laughs> well, B.A., not out loud. Now, lots of players feel slighted if someone gets drafted before them, but most have the good sense not to tell the whole world about it during an interview. Here's Robinson, five on the clock. Hauser can't get it to go. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Down low, all down low. And there's the slam, dunk to finish it off. Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. And the foul called on MP. That's his first foul of the game. Substitution for Memphis. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. And here's Owens outside. 
Again, the miss by the Celtics. Memphis with the ball. Stringing it together. They've got an 11-2 run going. From deep, MP drains the triple. MP's got 12. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Austin's gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Pass to Owens. A minute 50 left in the first quarter here. Austin again missing. You know, Grant, watching Shep during these summer league games, man, the athleticism is off the charts. It really is, B.A. I mean, his numbers didn't lie. He is a special talent with his athleticism. You can see the potential oozing off of him, and he could end up the best player in the draft. Up top, Robinson. Pass to Owens. Fires the three. The Grizzlies pull it in. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Here's Hauser. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Now here's Green. Outside Robinson. Clock at six. Here's Hauser. Austin again missing. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Here's Hauser. And that comes off the assist by Green. He was cold, but that basket might get him going. One for six now. Pass to MP. Here's Bain. Back to MP. The three is up. And again, it's Memphis with a three. This man is on fire. His team is winning, and it doesn't get better than that. Here's Owens. Boom! He jams it straight down. A highlight reel finish for Owens. That's his bread and butter, we all know. To the paint. The floater. Yep, that one goes. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies of 15 points as the Celtics. Nine. And welcome back from Las Vegas, Nevada. Here in the Summer League Finals, this is the end of a great week and a half of basketball, Grant. Each team got to play five games here. Yeah, and I like the round-robin aspect of it, B.A. Great for the players having guaranteed games and minutes, and it gives ample time for teams to evaluate. Six to shoot. Can't hit. One for two now. Memphis has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. MP outside. The three is up. Owens grabs the board. Boston's gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. To the inside. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Yeah, very good recognition by Owens as he finds the open man and drops the dime. And MP has been putting on a show here against Shep Grant. Yeah, B.A., it's almost like he's come out with an ax to grind, doing everything he can to make Shep eat his words. After scoring with ease in the first quarter, he's really cooled down a bunch here. And he goes in for the dunk. Listen, I'm not going to lie. And I love how flashy Owens can be at times, especially when he's handling the ball. To the middle. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. And you know, B.A., that's one great thing about Summer League. It's a great chance for undrafted players to catch on with the team. Hey, we see a number of undrafted rookies play their way into a training camp scene here. 
The Summer League always has a few surprise standouts. Yes, it really does. That's just a beautiful rhythm on that jumper. MP with the pull-up. 35 seconds left in the first half. And he does it right in his face. This is how you answer a three with a three. Just merciless. Puts up a three. Austin with a rebound. Here's Owens. Over to the left wing. From deep. That shot, no good. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies in control with a 16-point advantage heading into the break. The Boston team, 28. Well, it's as sweltering as ever here in Las Vegas. Second half of the Summer League Championship just starting up. Pass to Bain. Back to MP. There's the three. Hits a three-pointer. MP's got 24 points. Well, Grant, the NBA has been holding a summer league in Las Vegas since 2004. It's a great venue for the event. Yeah, it really is, B.A. Now, there were also other locations for a summer league, Utah, Orlando. But Vegas is the one where every team participates. One of the high flyers in this league, Owens once again putting on a show. MP outside. Here's the three. It's hauled in by Robinson. Here's Hauser, guarded by Bain. Pass to Robinson. Mobley outside. Here's Owens. Outside for Green. Three-pointer. Gets the three ball to go. Green's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. The defense really fell apart there. You can't afford to leave them all alone at the arc. And here's MP from outside. Drops in the three. And the Grizzlies lead by 17. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Pass to Hauser. Mobley outside. Here's Owens. There's the triple. The rebound by MP. Nothing just seems to be bouncing his way today. Mama said there'd be days like this. They have missed his production. Well, Grant, we knew that MP could shoot, but man, he has been lights out from three-point range here in Vegas. Yeah, B.A., I mean, MP has been so dialed in. His shooting has been a big part of the success he's found here in Summer League. Now Green. Robinson passes to Green. Here's Owens. Tries a 10-footer, and Owens had MP in his sights on that one. Went right at him to get those points back. Good, solid start to the half. Hitting three out of four. Green against Bain. Tillman with a screen. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Here's Hauser. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Pass to Robinson. And a big finish by Robinson. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. And here's MP from outside. The shot comes out. And Boston going the other way now. Here's Owens. He takes it in. And it's Tillman with a rebound. And as I think back to all the summer leagues we've seen, B.A., there have been some great performances from soon-to-be breakout players. Well, sometimes a great summer amounts to nothing in the regular season. But sometimes you get a sneak peek of a player who's about to make a name for themselves. Here's Green. And he lays it up and in. Green's got five points now this quarter. Another shot right in the lane. That's been their M.O. this evening. 
And MP just pouring it on here. An absolute statement game from him in this Summer League Championship grand. Oh, man. B.A. Shep might be regretting ever opening his mouth on MP. What a game we've seen from the 18th pick. And the foul called on MP. That'll be a second foul. Here's Pritchard. The three ball. The rebound by MP. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Takes a three. Counted from distance. MP's got 12 points here in the second half. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. Here's Pritchard. Oh, MP with a block. Just terrific defensive instincts there from MP, reacting so quickly and managing to get that block. And this will cap off the Summer League here in Vegas. 75 games played over the past week and a half, Grant. Yeah, B.A., it's such a great destination for who fans. You get to see so much basketball in a short time and see the future of the NBA. Blocking foul called on. Kenneth, number 45. Second personal foul. First team foul. Substitution on the court. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Here's Hauser. Green up top. Pass to Hauser. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's Owens outside. Knocks down the triple. Shut out from beyond the arc in the first period. He finally drains one. For Memphis, they've gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. From deep, MP. It's hauled in by Robinson. Robinson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Green for three. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. And as we get close to the end of Summer League, B.A., you start to feel that the NBA season has truly begun. Well, training camps will open soon. The preseason, you can feel that buzz of a new season already starting to form into reality. They double him with MP. Pass to Owens. Outside, Green. Here's Hauser. Here's Owens. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. It's stolen away. Going all the way to the rack for the finish. And he caps off the break with a monster slam. Oh, man, just an exciting player. Shep Owens, fun to watch out on the fast break. Substitution on the court. Tries a three off the inbound. No time wasted there for MP. Comes right back at Owens to answer his score. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. The putback. Altama grabs the board. Memphis has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Back to MP for three. Boston with a rebound. Mobley's got four rebounds in the game. Outside, Green. Well, since Commissioner Silver took over. Grant, it seems the league. And congratulations to the Memphis Grizzlies, the NBA Summer League champions. Yeah, just a great showing from the team here. We'd like to thank everyone for coming. Oh, 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 that's some quiet content back there, bro. Hold oh, on. Oh, congrats. You won a preseason game. That's it? I was so embarrassed.
summer now. The summer league champ, baby. All right, now, <laughs> be honest. How does it feel? Man, I don't know, man. It's just summer league. What, like, just I feel like I'm just getting started right now. Oh, you definitely just heating up, though. Come on now. I am seeing lots of positive engagement on social. Oh, Let's yeah? hear a little mm -hmm. bit. MP won't admit it, but he loves that stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Admit it? Like, I mean, yes, I'm human, but, you know, I like compliments, too. Oh, especially um, when they deserve. I tell you. I imagine not wanting MP over Shep could never be me, fam. Uh, oh, I'm going to name my firstborn son after MP. Fast cap. Wow. Oh, that's cap. Mm. Mm. Hey, Ashley, you want to just uh, read it with feeling next time? <laughs> just a suggestion. Yo, yo. Thank you for the recap and all, but I was, you know, hoping that maybe we could, you know, look forward and talk about something that's possibly coming up, you know? Okay, right. eyes yep. on the prize, I that's love it. it. All right, Ashley, go. Uh, you have a meeting with Freddie Novak, okay. new head of brand and marketing. He wants to talk to you about some of the PR initiatives he's spearheading. Lots of data-driven stuff, how to leverage research into results. I think you'll like it. Yeah, I actually read an article about him in the pin down. He's oh. a very, very interesting hire. That's mm -hmm. right. Very. Mm -hmm. Oh, and just to put this on your radar, we got you a spot on Top Takes Daily. Mm -hmm. Let's get yeah. it. Yeah, we don't have a date set uh, just yet, but it should be sometime in the next two weeks, and it's going to be a great opportunity to take control of the post-draft narrative. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, is there anything else that we got? That's it for now. Mainly, we just want you to focus on ball, man. Psh, man, y'all taking care of everything. I appreciate it. <laughs> like, for real. You already know, this ain't our first rodeo, kid. Oh, well, it is Mila's first rodeo. Okay, technically it's your second, so oh, not that different. I managed the old MP since like eighth grade. That's oh, like wait, wait, 20 rodeos Hold on, 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 hold on. We're not talking about MP here. Wait, bro, at all. Bro, come on, man. I mean, this whole agency is devoted to you right now. You can't be jealous, are you? Fam, you serious right now? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Smile, man. That's scary. funny. <laughs> Look, go to your meeting with Freddie and then holler at me when you're done. All right, fam. Ricky? Ricky gone. P, What's going great on, to man? finally meet you. Oh, pleasure's all mine, man. Hey, I read the article about you in the pen down. You're one data obsessed cat, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can never have too much data. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you came. Uh, look, this Shep thing, yeah. it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need to put in some work to make sure it doesn't have a negative impact on the start of your career. Okay, yeah, so just like work hard, play well, make people forget Shep ever existed. Yes and no. Let's say we put you in the starting lineup tomorrow and you stumble a little bit. Normally, no big deal. Mm -hmm. But 68% of our fans wanted Shep, and of that 68%, 95% have a highly unfavorable opinion of you. Okay, so that's basically corporate speak for, they hate my guts. Correct. Yeah. Which means it becomes a story. Papers in this town are out for blood. I'm sure you saw the top take segment. Oh, I did. Okay, look. There's no reason to think that you're not gonna take off right out of the gate. But any hiccup in your play, and we've got a distraction on our hands. It's bad for your growth, bad for team chemistry, and it makes Phil Boyer look bad. Mm -hmm. He stuck his neck out for you on draft night. Humble and hardworking, with qualities you like to see in a draft pick. But you already knew that. <laughs> Let me show you the locker room. Let's do it. So obviously you've seen one of these before. Nothing too unusual. Your locker's over there. The one with my name on it, right? <laughs> Quick study. We put the starter's name on the whiteboard over here before every game. Coach likes to keep things regular, but obviously injuries happen. People perform or they don't, so it'll change from time to time. All right, well, hopefully it changes sooner rather than later. If you're doing the right things, you'll be there sooner than you think. Hey, that's the plan. Right, hey, come on, let me show you my office. Come on in. Now, I know you're anxious to find out how you're gonna fit into the rotation. Coach, man, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hyped, man. You got no idea. Like I said, we wanted to see how you performed under pressure, so we put a lot of weight in your performance in the Summer League Championship. Oh, yeah, you were very clear about that. Good. So, we got together and talked about it and decided the best role for you to start the year is as a solid rotation player off the bench. We'll get you the minutes. It's up to you to make the most of them. That's not exactly what I was expecting, but I guess it's up to me to earn my way into the starting lineup. And you've got the potential to get there. 
but I don't want you focusing on that right now. Take it one day at a time, put in the work, and the results will follow. I've never been afraid of work, you know? It's just I expect more for myself than this in the long term. I get it, 100%. Honestly, I'd be concerned if you didn't feel that way. You want to make it here, you got to have a hunger to be the best. I mean, if you're not competing to be the best here, what are we doing? <laughs> exactly, what are we doing? exactly. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to get dressed, you know where your locker is, and once you're ready to head to the court, it's a tunnel across from the locker room. Any questions? Ah, Koshi, I'm ready. Let's get it. See you out there. For some of these players, this opening night will be their first. What's your advice for guys making their NBA debuts, Smitty? Well, So on the floor for New York, down low, it's Randall and Hartenstein. Jalen Brunson is out there with Emmanuel quickly, and it's Barrett in at the three. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just could deliver. Fires the three. Doc gets the bucket. And the Grizzlies lead by three. Tough to miss that man. Desmond Bain read the defense perfectly. Pass to Randall. Here's quickly. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Randall's got three assists tonight. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly, that was their game plan coming in. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, and in close games like this one, BA, you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Called in by Doc. Memphis has gone four of six from deep to start this game. Bain finds Moran. Over Brunson. And Moran with the basket on the assist by Bain. Now it's a six-point Grizzly lead. Defensively, you want to stop Moran's penetration. He knows that, and he settles for the mid-range pop. I know it's early. But you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. So it's the Knicks now. They're getting their first look of the season at the Grizzlies in this one. It's really hard to know what to expect when teams play only twice a year. Makes it a bit of a mystery. The balance between East and West after years of being dominated by the West is starting to even out some. Moran against Brunson. Pass to Doc. There's the three. Oh, his shooting remains on point. Three for four thus far. This is what I like about Ja Moran. He stays open to all options. Right there finds the open man. In the 2021-22 season, we saw Ja Moran go from a star to a bona fide superstar, averaging over 27 points, six assists, and five rebounds. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. To the paint. Here's quickly, and he goes in for the dunk. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. Well, Smitty with Moran, his ascension into superstardom was quicker than expected. B.A., before he tweaks his knee, he was in the top five for the MVP race, putting himself among the league's elite at the age of 22. And with his passion, he's only going to get better. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Drains the triple. He's got 18. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. And it's quickly with a miss. On the wing, Bain, guarded by Quickly. And the basket by Tillman. And the Grizzlies lead by 13. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. 
Barrett passes to Randall. Grizzlies with the rebound. I mean, all period, it's been a struggle for him scoring the ball. To the inside, Moran. To the middle. Pass to Doc. From outside the arc. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Moran's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. And for New York, they're shooting a solid 50% in the opening quarter. Randall draws the double. Now quickly. Down low. Tipped. Not his best night, and not the team's best night. Sometimes it just goes that way. Here's Doc. Beyond the arc. Quickly with a rebound. There's 57 seconds left in the first quarter. Now Clark. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And he buries his first look. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Barrett with it. 34 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Brunson. Now Randall. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Doc. Guarded by Quickly. Here's Doc. Pure from three-point range. He's got 24. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. For three, Randall. The Grizzlies pull it in. Look, I know he wanted to answer with a three of his own, but you got to play smarter. Play your game, not theirs. That one falls. And it hasn't just been their stellar offense. Their defense has been effective as well. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. And they've been shooting the lights out from the arc. All those threes have this poise for a blowout. We'll be right back after this word. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Memphis. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that high. They're also managing to make lots of trouble for their opponent in transition. Right away, they're finding points on the break. So on the floor for New York, Josh Hart is out there with Obi Toppin. Then there's Emmanuel Quickly. Then there's Mitchell Robinson. And it's Grimes in at the two. Memphis five, number seven. First personal foul. Is there aren't many like Giannis. <laughs> that is so true, B.A. Good luck with that team, executives. But reality, look, with the way the NBA game has evolved, positionless basketball is what it's all about. You combine that with size, skill, and talent, that's a dangerous combination, and that's what every team needs. Pass to Tillman. Here's Doc. Launches a three. Goes back up. And it's Adams with the bucket inside. Adams has got seven points in the game. Can't teach size and strength. Once Adams gets position, you're not rooting him out of there. Bain against Barrett. Over to the left wing. Here's Randall. Hits the jump hook. Give him eight. A high percentage shooter inside. That's exactly where you want to get Randall the ball. Pass to Doc. Three-pointer. And it's Brunson with the rebound. New York has gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Count it. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Outside Payne. Inside. Here's Doc. Drops in the layup for two. 26 points for him. Like a matador. Olay. There was no defense. 
That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Let's the three fly. He's got another one. That's 10 for 15 now. He's really taken a hold of this first half and made it his. He is making all the right decisions out there. And Hart with a basket on the assist by Randall. Randall's got six assists here tonight. Here's Doc. Connects again from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. Brunson passes to Randall. The fadeaway. The shot, no good. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Started out strong for three-point land. Hit two in the first quarter, but he's gone dry since. Yep, that one's good. They've settled into this game. You can see the offense is on fire. Yeah, the reason why they made the adjustments they needed to make. They are executing. And here's Memphis. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Well, for the Knicks, what's it going to take to bring them back to the glory days? Oh, that's a loaded question, B.A. But first of all, a superstar would certainly help. They haven't really had one for quite some time. If they can either develop or attract an elite all-star player, that would be a start to turning this New York franchise around and becoming possibly a contender. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. From the arc. Nails it from three. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. And the Knicks shooting only 40% from the floor in this game. Hart from long range. Grizzlies with the rebound. Outside Morant. Adams with a screen on Barrett. Here's Doc. Off the mark there with a three. And the Knicks shooting 35% in the second so far. Here's Brunson. And the Knicks miss again. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. Count the basket. Moran's got 11 points. Not one to shy away from physicality. John ja Moran just goes about his business. Barrett passes to Randall, and here's Brunson. Hart from long range, and it's Bain with the rebound. Bain's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Doc. Fires for three. Hartenstein pulls it in. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And it's John Morant with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. He's got it working. Stay hot. Keep firing. Coming to the floor for your Grizzlies. 32 seconds left in the first half of this game. The other team just looks more in sync and is riding the momentum. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the time out or do you let your guys try to fight through it? In today's game, you can never afford to get beat in the three-point battle. Randall against Clark. Trying to get back on track. Good D by Clark. Now here's Moran. Pass to Doc. From deep three-point range. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Your If you want to know why they're dominating, look at the rebounding. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. And that'll do it for us. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. And so it's Memphis with it. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. They've got Tyus Jones, Luke Kennard out there with Brandon Clark, and it's Doc in a two-guard. 
That's good! Another from three! The parade of threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. And that latest triple ties him for second for most threes in a game. What a monster performance from deep it's been. To the middle. Here's Hartenstein. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Nice job. Those passes have to be right on the money around the painted area. Clark with a screen on Barrett. Pass to Doc. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. 43 points in the game. With a high basketball IQ and improving playmaking abilities, Luke's groin as a distributor. Barrett with it. Defended by Kennard. Fader on the way. Barrett can't hit. At some point, when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. The three ball. And again for three. There it is. A shot that puts him tied at the top of the record books. And he just can't be denied from deep. Now he's tied for most threes in a single game. Amazing. Here's quickly. Six points for him. Pass to Toppin. Did you see that? I saw it. Wow. And he saw it. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Come on now, guys. That's flat out insane. Hey, when's the last time you saw a jam like that? And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. Good. Another from three. Unbelievable. Gets the record with a beautiful three. A new single game record and a night that everyone will remember the rest of their lives. And for New York, they're shooting just 33% so far in this game. All right, time for an injury report. Let's check in with Allie LaForce for an injury update on Jalen Brunson. Thanks, guys. I got some news from the Knicks head athletic trainer. A bruised tailbone is what he's saying. Nothing too serious, but definitely a pain in the you-know-what. Obviously, this isn't at all how they pictured the start of the season. We'll have to see how this affects them moving forward. All right, Allie, thanks. Well... are so good at what they do. Hopefully, they'll be able to get him back on the court soon. And the basket by Clark. Allowing any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. And the Knicks shooting a low 29% since halftime. Brandon Clark is one of the most efficient players in the league. He's been in the top five in true shooting a couple of times. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thanks so much, Brian. Well, the Knicks trying to find their way back to the playoffs. Coach Tom Thibodeau said, you can't look backwards and you can't look too far down the road. You just have to take a look at today, lock into what we have to do, and focus on how we can be better. Back to you. No shortcuts to greatness, Allie. Thanks for that. Elevates and detonates the one-hand stuff. Picture perfect. Memphis has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. And Smitty, the analytics will show you that Brandon Clark is one of the best at protecting the ball. Yeah, Brandon's been in the top five in that category as well. He doesn't put up huge scoring numbers, but when Clark is on the floor, he has a major, major impact. Huge size disadvantage for the defense. Might as well just get out of the way. The three is up. The shot that time, not on target. And New York will come the other way. Quickly, passes to Barrett. There's a screen by Toppin. Looking to get it going. And he... Barrett, making his NBA debut at 19. Still a few years away from hitting his prime. And specifically with R.J. Barrett, it feels like he's a lot older, Grant. In will be but he's not close to 25 yet. So what we see right now, it's not what he'll be once R.J. hits his prime. Still a lot of room to grow for him. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Doc. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. New York has gone just one of six from long distance here in the third. The shots just aren't falling. Barrett can't hit. 
And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Pass to Doc. Double, double. Back to Jones. The three. Gets the three ball to go. Jones has got seven points. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Quickly outside. From outside, off the mark. And the Grizzlies shooting has been tremendous. 63% for the game and scoring with confidence. Oh, Clark with the slam. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. New York shooting 36% for the game. Not great. Pass to Toppin. Quickly from outside. Grizzlies with the rebound. Clark's got rebound number eight now. Here's Doc. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on Brandon Clark. How the heck is that a foul, ref? You need lacing. Number seven. Checking in for the minute. Take for granted. You can see they're playing the moment rather than the score. They're having a hard time stopping this run. And B.A., you can't afford to keep coming up empty. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. Memphis shooting an excellent rate of 56% on the third quarter. Pass to Doc. Here's the three. And Toppin pulls it down. Toppin's got six rebounds here tonight. Brunson with it. He's picked up by Jones. Quickly passes to Hart. Toppin, a screen on Clark. Brunson with it. Launches it. Connects from downtown. He's got 10. Such an effective shooter. If you lose track of him defensively, he's going to make you pay. There's the double team with quickly. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Hart. Brunson passes to Toppin. The three-pointer off the mark. Outside Jones. Over Toppin. Jones' is shot is good. Jones has got nine points. He means business. Unlikely to be a comeback on his watch. Reason why. We head into a break. And so Memphis takes this one by a big margin. Hey, everyone. All right, man, you up first right here. Congrats on your first NBA win, MP. Thanks, Nate. So what would you say you struggled with the most out there? I mean, after your first NBA action, is there a specific part of your game you, you know you need to work on? You know, Nate, man, you are a real ray of sunshine. You know that? <laughs> I try. So, you don't have anything to work on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I I'm not going to let you twist my words around like that. So, of course, I've got things that I need to work on. Who doesn't? You know, I just think it's funny that you lead off with such a negative question. You know, you could have asked me anything. What are you comfortable with? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, but you I choose think... to start negatively? <laughs> well, I don't think that's very interesting. I bet you don't. Well, so is that a no comment? Uh, no, nah, I got you, man. I got you. Um, for me right now, the hardest part is just gelling with my teammates. My game, which I'm always confident in, um, but this is a team sport, you know, so I got to figure out how to fit my game into what the team needs me to do. You know, obviously we got the dub tonight, so that's a huge plus, so I'm not worried about it. But, you know, that's probably what needs to be worked on long term. Just gelling it all together. Okay, next question. John. 
There were a lot of media outlets in the preseason that made a big deal about the fan base's so-called negative reaction to you on draft day. But I did see quite a few people in the stands supporting you. Mm -hmm. Could you speak a little bit about that? Yeah, John, you know, I felt that support tonight and it was love. You know, I can't complain about that. But I think with the whole, you know, Shep controversy was a bit of a like media creation, you know, for being honest here. Um, now, don't get me wrong, you know, it's not like I feel like I should be handed the keys to the city or, you know, get the red carpet rolled out for me. Um, but these days, it feels like everyone has an opinion, you know, so you can always find someone that's willing to put you down if you look for it. You know, it's, it's there. You know, for me, I'm just more focused on the people that support me, genuinely. You know, and I've got plenty of support in the city, so it feels good. <laughs> the times we live in, right? Tell Thanks, MP. It. Yeah, no problem, man. Good question, by the way. All right, that's it for today. See the next time, y'all. Hey, uh, yeah, I just got off the phone with Othello Akpem's assistant, and uh, the big boss man wants to see you. What about? I mean, he's not one of those super hands-on GMs, is he? Nah, I mean, that's not really his reputation. So... Honestly, I don't know what this is about, man. I mean, I tried to press it. Come on in, take a seat. What's up, MP? Coach Graves, <laughs> Mr. Ock Pim. What'd I tell you about that? Othella, please. I mean, my bad, you got it. So, about Shep. Oh, boy, you too. Now, just listen. We knew the PR hit we'd take for picking you over him. But that's all just outside noise. Inside these walls, all we care about is ball. All right, well, I'm willing to put in the work, on and off the court, so whatever it takes. I actually spoke to Freddie Novak. You talked uh, to Freddie? Did I do something wrong by talking to Freddie? Freddie's a nice guy. I like him. But all this stuff about controlling your own narrative, you're a ball player, not a politician. We put together a very specific game plan for you. You hit these goals, you're in the starting lineup. Simple as that. See you later, man. All right, have a great one. Yo, you, you want me to come back? No, 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 you good, you good. You sure? Yeah, I just wanted to talk with you about your meeting with Othello. <sighs> to be honest with you, man, uh, I'm a little confused. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might say that. Yeah. So you know something? 